Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. To open today's webinar, the Australian dollar once again attempts to restore the bullish bias against the US greenback. After yesterday's session, took a short trip to the upside and challenges the resistance of 78.70 and printed a higher 74 before its retreat. It is viewed that the market will again probably first challenge the top side for the start of today, but I expect to see foul challenge towards 70 or towards the 79.15.25 area, which is also seen as the moving average of 60 days. As I mentioned, I expect to see further weakness and look towards 78.20 as immediate target. Then beneath that, 77.75.80 with my broader picture looking at 76.5 to 77.20. The euro had a relatively quiet uh, session overnight as the market slowly digests the remarks made by Mario Draghi and Janet Yellen. The Fed Reserve Chairman, Chairwoman Janet Yellen spoke at an event in St. Louis over, uh, early this morning but uh, failed to remark on the state of the economy or the upcoming decision on whether she will be appointed as the chair of the Fed. <clears throat> Technically, while the index still holds a, a, above the 93 handle, and it currently is, then we should see further gains with the euro weakening and taking out this level of 116.85.90 and down toward 116.30, with the resistance seen at 117.80.90 to cap on the day. Dolly Yen once again still fails to the upside after printing the high of 112.92. It is still currently viewed that the market will decline. I still want to buy on, on uh, dips, but the strategy is towards 111.60 where I view a base. Although overnight we did get a low of, uh, one, as I mentioned, 112.31 before a, a slight rejection. But nevertheless, the indicators are swaying to the downside. So any failed, any attempts towards the top side should fail around the 113 handle. Well, the pound still remains weak, but holding above the 131.95 support. At this stage, I do expect to see a recovery soon, and I am a little bit cautious of coming out of any bearish comments, purely for the fact is that we could see an advance up towards the 133 handle. Purely for the fact is that the market is slowly pricing in a rate hike, which could be around November. The gold outlook briefly looked above the 1280 resistance before dropping back. I still like to buy on dips and I expect to see any weakness towards 1268 or towards 58 as a buy zone and a recovery looking towards 83. A break above there would give further scope towards 1296 as a new objective. Oil remains unchanged and still looking at $49.50 a barrel. I do expect to see uh, probably some demand from there. But failing to hold above 49.5 would reinstate the downside to about $46 a barrel and reassess from there. Any advances should fail towards 50.60 or 51.5. So that wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day that's ahead of you.